Dead meme. Hey there, everyone. Back with some Valheim. And as you can see, I've got some silver marked on the map. Here's my mountain OP. So I've discovered that Modder was here, basically on my home island. I found a boss stone up here. So basically, if you go to where the boss is, typically the biome is more has more material in it. That's usually typical for that area. For that area. But look at this distance. Like, how am I gonna get from here to here easily with all my silver? Well, I'm going to basically show you a method I like to use. So I do typically do a lot of outposting. So as you can see in here, there's a rested state of six. It's not too bad. You could easily get it a bit higher. But if you ever need to work here or be here for an extended period of time, it is a lot easier to um, operate out here. You can carry those certling cores through portals. So I usually smelt the ores while I'm here and I'll make a simple crafting station, of course, because with a level two crafting station, you can make the fur cape. You can even upgrade it once. And in the mountains, uh, snow is a huge problem or the cold rather, not the snow. And of course, you can carry uh, bronze nails through the portal. So there we go. <laughs> So you might ask, why would you bother carrying the silver all the way home? Because you could theoretically mine up a few pieces of um, tin and copper and create a forge out here and basically have a more functional base. At the same time, though, you're kind of sitting around with additional setups that you may not wish to maintain or continuous, continuously visit. So I'm going to climb my way up the mountain. I'll skip to the more interesting parts. Quick tip while climbing the mountain, try not to drain all of your stamina, but you can just kind of almost run straight up cliffs if you jump. So as you can see, uh, it's not too hard to climb. Just take your time, let your stamina come back. If you've built a little outpost, you can easily get rested before you attempt this. This one is a great example. So we'll just kind of jump and sit in the divot. Get some stamina back, because if you get ambushed by wolves or drakes, you're going to want to be able to move. And here's my silver vein. They are underground, typically. You might get a little bit of a poke out through a wall. But they're typically hidden. You need the wishbone in order to detect them. I've done a video about the mountain biome that goes more in depth on that sort of deal. So I'm not going to cover that again. I'll just leave a link in the description so you can take a look at it if you feel you need to. So two thirds of an iron pickaxe got me 90 ish units of silver. I think I had four or five left in here. Now, of course, metal is very heavy like it is in every biome. You can try to carry a bit more down by breaking it down and whatnot into smaller stacks. But rather than trying to drag the cart up here and then bring it back down, uh, I've seen people do it where they've kind of stacked up a cart and then they push it down the hill. But my outpost is somewhere in that direction and making that shot, not easy made it back to my base and I've still got a fair bit of daylight so I would like to make another attempt and of course it starts raining and since we have an outpost here where I've kind of set up a little bit of rested resting with a value of six so I'll be able to regain my rested and probably make two or three trips up that mountain which isn't too far and I can probably get the majority of that metal down while it's while I have some smelting away. So we relatively easily returned by just simply jumping up the side of the mountain. And let's get rid of that. I am a couple points too heavy. There we go. So it's still the same game day. I'm just going to make my way back down. Something to keep in mind. Once you've discovered the silver and you got it marked down, you can unequip your uh, wishbow and you can basically equip your Ming Lord or however it's said to uh, acquire more carrying capacity. Okay, and while I was running up the hill, we got a bunch of smelted silver. So 
that's probably the question you're asking. Why would you bother smelting it here? Well, for one, I was able to make the wolf tunic here with just a level 2 crafting table and silver and a wolf trophy and some of their skins. So no longer consuming this frost resistance mead. Like, it's not hard to make by any means, but you know, it's uh, why consume something when you don't really need to. And of course, I can easily pack these things up and return on my ship with the, like, through the portal. So, or I can take them on my ship and move to another area. So that's why I decided to smelt silver here, so I can make the wolf tunic. Because with a wolf trophy skins and silver, you'll no longer consume any of your frost resistance potions. So we've already done a few trips running down the mountain, but I figure I should just show this to you. You can literally like run down the face of the mountain in most cases and take minimal damage. Just be careful, like don't jump and stuff. And you can kind of just power down. It's a lot easier to get back down than it is to get back up. Great example of running into some trouble. If you build your little holes like a trench, the uh, stone golem and the drake will have a hard time getting at you. You'll have a little bit more cover. So make it deep enough that you actually have to jump out. I know it's counterintuitive, but it'll keep that rock golem from falling in there and dealing with you. The only thing you'll have to worry about are some wolves. Now I'm just going to quickly go over what I've decided to put in my outpost. I've got a workbench here. I've just made it level 2 again so I can craft the wolf cape. And I could even upgrade it if I wanted to bring some leathers here to make it level 3. And inside, I've got a fine wood table, core wood uh, log to sit on, a deer pelt, and it's sheltered because there's a fire just outside. So I'll show you how I did this. This is just one of those ruined structures out there. And I just kind of turned it into like a functional little outpost. So that is basically enough to protect it from the weather, and I was able to build all this and have a easy way to smelt down my silver and to outpost my way out here. All right, now we're ready for the trek back to the boat. And so now that we're rested up, we'll step outside, and I just want to show you with one iron, level three iron pickaxe, how much silver we got, and some of it's even smelted already. So when we get back to the to the home, we'll be able to upgrade our crafting stations and make such as the butcher's table and whatnot. But this part, if you uh, watched my video about the dark wood, you know what's coming. We're gonna take the hoe, and we're just gonna pat down the ground as we ran along to make it easier to move along. Now, if something happens to your uh, cart, don't panic. You could pick up the components and rebuild it next to a crafting station. So just 10 wood. So don't uh, don't panic too much if something happens here. The boxes that drop out of it will contain all of the ores or anything that you're carrying back home with you. And I find for me, since I'm going to a ship, I just get to the coastline as quick as I can. And then I just kind of ride the coastline with the hoe like I'm doing right now. We'll show you when I get there. So if you encounter this sort of scenario, not necessarily those things hitting you, but trying to climb up a hill with the, uh, the cart on your back, it's going to be pretty tough. I know that you're, it's not ideal, the boat's just over there, but it'll be easier to just take the low ground over rather than attempting to fight your way up that hill it'll just make you frustrated you can even kind of plow your way across a lesser body of water so as you can see not that bad just run down the coastline keep flattening stuff out there is a plains biome nearby, so if you are uh, experiencing something similar, be careful. Those goblins or furlings are horrible. Alright, so just made it back to the boat. And basically, uh, you know what to do from here. You'll be able to uh, basically sail home. So, uh, just like to throw out there, if you liked the video or if you thought it was useful, if you want to throw a like or a sub at it, 
That'd be pretty cool. I would appreciate that. And of course, if there's something that I missed out that maybe um, I should have talked about or that you think would be helpful, throw it in there. Uh, keep in mind the topic or the concept is getting your very heavy ores and metals off the mountain. And uh, thanks for showing up, and I'll see you all again real soon.